Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello ah. and welcome to another Elliot and Matt show home tour. And today we are filming for Rainbow, we are in Chorley, and we are at Sycamore Manor. And we're in a brand new house type for us. We've never viewed this house type before. We are so excited. We're in a Balmoral. Ooh. So let us know in the comment section uh, when we finish this tour what you think of the Balmoral. So we start, as always, in the hallway. I think we should get a little shot wow. of the hallway. It's very impressive, I think. You come in uh, and you stand, you wipe your feet on the inbuilt mat, which I do believe is, a, is, a, is an extra. Do, do check with your sales um, consultant as to what are the extras for your development. Um, it feels very, there's very high ceiling. Yes, it feels very grand in here. Yeah, as always with Red Row, you've got the really tall skirting boards to excuse our bag down there. There is space for a console table. There is, and, and a mirror. mirror. Yeah, um, so the outside of this property is very attractive, uh, yeah. as you've seen from the shots of us of me walking in. And the door, it's a two-tone door. There's this kind of blue colour. Um, all the colours may vary, but you have got this kind of leaded, uh, very tall, <laughs> it's a very yeah. tall door go with the tall ceilings. With privacy glass as yeah, well. Yeah, and a very tall, high letterbox. Yes. And you may have also seen on the way in, you do get, with this house type, a double carriage. Yeah, and this one's really nicely situated. So eventually, when this particular house is sold, that will be, the garden will be returned to driveway. Yes. <laughs> that sometimes confuses a lot of people with show homes. Um, but the outside of the property is very attractive. We'll show some footage of the outside as well. Um, so we've got black handles on this door. I don't think we've seen a black handle no, before. No, not on the front door. No, but I quite like it. Um, on the inside, it is kind of white coloured. You've got the um, security feature on the letterbox um, and the chain and the latch. Okay, shall we go into a room? Yes, shall we? Shall we go to the <laughs> door that's to the left? Yeah. And we'll make our way around from there. Okay, so we have a... It's an under-the-stairs cupboard, and it's... Yeah. Oh, wow, that's deep. Is it deep? It's very deep. Well, I'm just poking my head, right? Wow. So you can get a lot in there. Get a lot in there. Buggies, anything yeah. like that. Prams. What else is in there? Uh, you've got the security system. Yeah. And then it looks like all the gubbins for the internet. Yeah, so it's your kind of working part of the home type yeah. cupboard. But we put um, shoes, coats. Yeah, anything like that could easily go in there. Maybe your vacuum cleaner. Ooh, maybe. Oh, handles. These Ooh. have quite a nice shape. They're kind yeah. of a bit wavy. There we go. We like to show all the different features. We do. <laughs> in houses. Um, okay, there's a radiator in the hall. And, again, a very tall window. Yeah. And you can see that the canopy porch as well. Yeah, it goes all the underneath. way across. So if you're coming in from the front door and you've got guests, they are going to get wet if it's raining. And also, it's snowing as well. Oh, yes. You, you aren't going to have any snow right up against your door, which is, you know, you have to think about these things. You've got a little bit of baddest of showing. Oh, well, it's a nice feature because it allows you to see through and it kind of breaks up the wall. Yeah. And if you come here and just look up, um, it's quite a nice view. Up. So Ooh, you get a bit of a sneak peek. Okay. Yeah. Staircase. Sneak preview. Yeah, sneak preview. Right, I'm ready to go into a room. Yes, let's go for this one. But, oh, by the way, we haven't seen floor plans, no. so we don't know <laughs> what's going to be behind these doors. We like to be surprised, so we are going to put the full room dimensions and floor plans at the end of the video. Right. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's a study. <laughs> it's a, a large It's study. a large. This is more of an office than a study. Wow. And look at the size of that bay window. Ah. Uh. I was expecting a living room from the outside, yeah. looking at the house from the, from the front. I was expecting the big bay window to be a living room. Yeah. But no, it's a humongous it's, study. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be a second living room. It could be like a kid's play room. Yeah, I think, yeah. T to be honest, this room could be an anything room. I mean, having not seen the rest of the house, um, it could be an office. It could be... Playroom, it could be a second living room. Crafts room. Possibly a dining room. Oh, possibly. There's also a window behind it. Oh, yeah, right out so you oh, can see if anyone's room. coming to the front door as well. Yeah. Um, That's cool. I like this room. I think I'd have this as a chilled out zen room. Yeah, like a, li a library. Yeah, just somewhere with just a couple of chairs, maybe a sofa. Yeah, bookshelf, big bookshelf. Yeah, should we have a look in the cupboards? Oh yes, <laughs> we like a rummage. So these are possibly optional extras. Yeah, because um, they do look like the normal yes, kitchen cupboards. Yes, yeah, because they are by Hammond. Ah. Um, in other Red Row homes we've done tours for, they do the wardrobes. Yes. So I, I think this could be an optional upgrade. Um, 
It feels very quality for an office. You've got your shelves, you've got the cupboards. I know people like a, people like a rummage. So you get all the drawers, plenty of kind of seating space. Oh, they're good file drawers. Oh yeah, very handy. And, um, and cupboards. Yeah, and, and then we've nice. got the shelves above. Yeah. Uh, I like this room. Mm, it's lovely. Yeah. I could see myself working from home oh, in here. God. That's a statement, yeah. right? Wow. It's like a halo. <laughs> Do I look like Beyonce? Sure, why not? Renaissance. <laughs> July 29th. I look like the Beyonce prayer candle. <laughs> but no, wow. I love this room. Let's go in the comments. What would you use this room for? Um, textured wallpaper as well. Ooh, Funko. There is a texture to it. The light switch is kind of chrome. We like those. Nice chrome finishes. Shiny. Amazing. We've got hard flooring um, in the hallway, which we like and we appreciate. It's always nice coming in. Oh, okay. Ooh, we've got a downstairs loop. We do. Pandy next to your office. What do you think of the green? It's a lovely green. Yeah. It's like a sea green. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so this room doesn't have a window, but it does have an extractor vent fan. It does. It's, it's very, it's got a lot of volume to the room, so. Um, it does feel quite spacious. Oh, yeah. What's the sanitary wear? Ooh, let's find out, shall we? Is it underneath there? Oh, what does uh, it say? It's normally satini, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, the sink is satini. You can just about see the logo yeah. underneath the tap. So I imagine the toilet's the same. And you've got the half-height tiling as well. Now, these are definitely porcelain over the tiles. Yeah. And the mirror. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. So, well, what's this? Is that thermostat? It could be a thermostat. Like a, could possibly be a thermostat. Yeah. Oh, the architrave on the door is very substantial. It's thick. Yeah, it's thick with a double thing. <laughs> right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Stunning. That is gorgeous. Let's do a slow pan because I've seen something already. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. We have a double door. Going Ooh. into what must be the living room. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. that's cool. It is. I like this. That's gorgeous. Wow. And we've got... A, right, I don't know where to start because we've got amazing bifold <laughs> windows going on to a stunning garden. Where should, should we go outside and start with outside? Yes. Okay. That's been really hot recently, so I know that the show home has had the bifolds open. Um, but we've got one door open of it at the moment. And you step out onto a patio. Ta -da! Now, on this development, there are all kinds of different levels. So, the gardens are very interesting here. They're all slightly different, but they, a lot of them have retaining walls. A lot of them are kind of tiered. This particular plot has an upper tier and a lower kind of tier as well, yeah. where the lawn is. So, let's go up on here and have a look. So, oh, wow. wow. So, this area here, they barked. We've got some nice bark on the floor. You could choose yourself to have it, uh, have a patio and have a, a terrace, so you can have drinks on the terrace with friends. But I love the planters. And just look, it goes all the way over here as well. Oh, wow, it does go all the way around the side. Yeah. So I think this, this is a huge this is a garden. Herb, a herb bed. What have we I got? Like. So, um, mint. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> mint, lavender. I'm not sure, but it's a herb garden. <laughs> And there's um, a nice fruit tree. Uh, but just look at the space. It's huge. Yeah, and the railings look really, really quality as well. And then have a look at the back of the house. Oh, wow. And we have... We've got solar, solar panels, panels on the roof. Wow. Which is what we all need in this cost of living crisis. It is. It's a little bit of free and lucky. <laughs> so let's have a little walk around. So there's a... Na oh, look, there's a little bird... Well, a, a book hotel? Yeah, a little bug hotel. Yeah. That's cute. Very and cute. Just listen. Just take a moment to listen. What do you hear? Uh, little birdies. Yeah, and nothing much else. No. So it's very peaceful. The location where we are, there are so many local amenities, but the spot where the development is very tucked away. So it's very private, um, very quiet, but you've got access to all the local amenities that the area has to offer. Wow. It's a very desired location. Actually. Very, very desired. I've seen a teepee. Oh, there's a teepee. Oh. We know what's going to happen now, don't we? Oh. Uh, are you in? I am in. <laughs> I am in and I am zen. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my teepee tour. Ta-da! We have a window. We have some cushions. We have a window? 
Did you do that? Hello. And I'm not sure if my hair will stand up. This is dog house. I was gonna say there's the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> TP house tour. <laughs> also, um, just get a look at this humongous big tree. So a lot of the trees on this development have what is known as a tree preservation order on them. So the development is built around these amazing variety of different trees. Um, oh, there's another big bug hotel. Ooh, there. it's a big bug hotel. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mr. Bug Hotel. We like a bug hotel. We do. So let's have a look and show you the lower terrace. Okay, so for demonstration purposes only, we have lots of, we have a dining area and a seating area. Yeah. They look, they look so comfy, I'm going to have a sit. <laughs> oh, this is the life of... There you go. <laughs> life of luxury. Yeah. Wow. There we go. So if I just... <laughs> That's graceful. <laughs> so if we just explain about the garden. So there will be a fence in between these two properties. Um, the property over there is actually the customer experience suite. And that will eventually be a Harrogate. Ooh. We have toured a Harrogate. Um, so there will be a fence down here, but I mean, th these are large gardens. They're huge. They're For massive. a new build house, these are very large. Okay, shall we go back in? Let's go. Let's I want go. to see the kitchen. Yeah, we'll have a rummage in the kitchen <laughs> and then we'll tour the rest. Ooh, I've just noticed there is an electric um, outdoor point as well. Ah, there we go. Outdoor plug, always handy. Yeah. Oh, and there's a tap the other side. Well, oh yes, tap. As yes. well, which is very helpful. Yeah, no, perfect. It's yeah. what you need. Keep your grass very green. <laughs> okay, I think we should start with the kitchen area. Yes, definitely, with this lovely peninsula. Yeah, so we, yeah, it's a peninsula kitchen with three bar stools. Um, again, very, very handy. Yes. When you've got your friends round and Maureen's round for coffee. <laughs> if you can stand having her in the house. Oh, sometimes you just like to listen to her talk. <laughs> well, it's her ankle these days. Oh. It's swollen up. <gasps> What's she done to it? She got bit by a bee. She got bitten by a bee. She got bit by a bee. Not stung by a bee, <laughs> bitten by a bee. She was bitten, it had teeth, everything. <laughs> it stuck into her leg and it swelled up like a melon. <laughs> Maureen's melon balls. Well, she's been cooking melon balls, it's been hot. Do you cook a melon ball? She's shaped them. <laughs> okay. It's bitten by a bee. <laughs> stung by a bee. <laughs> she got bitten by a bee. Ooh, have a coffee. <laughs> and the two. Right. Oh, I've just noticed in this peninsula. Look at the kind of. Oh, the ribboned marble. Yeah, I like this. Effect. Um, so this, I think, is quartz. There, there is again a range of upgrades on all Red Row properties. Go to the My Red Row. I'll leave it linked. Even if you're not reserved on a property, you can download the My Red Row. You can choose a house type and you can customize it. So you can see what your different options are, so it's worth a look on there. Okay, so we go through some cupboards. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the cupboard is a nice kind of navy blue. Ooh, double cupboard. A double cupboard. We have a corner cupboard that goes all the way round. Yeah. Um, so we've got double sink. Very handy. Is this a regular tap? We have an under sink. Under sink and under sink. Under -sink. There we go. Uh, the inbuilt draining board as well. Always helpful. Um, this, I think, is dishwasher. Yep, dishwasher. Okay. Who is it by? Siemens. Siemens dishwasher. We have a double cupboard. Double cupboard, very helpful. Three, three layered. Uh, we have lots of isolation switches and sockets. Ooh, a big... Big cutlery drawer. Yeah, big cutlery drawer. Pan drawer. Hand draw corner cupboards. This is Siemens hob. Siemens hob and Siemens extractor fan. We missed a cupboard in the corner. Have we? Yeah. There we go. Oh, another deep corner cupboard. There's so many cupboards. Many cupboards. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maureen's given us some jars. Mm. She made them herself. I like the fact that the quartz goes up into the bath splash. Mm, that's lovely. Very handy. There we go. Just makes everything flow. Um, ooh, is this going to be one of those nice pull-outs? Ooh, yes, there we go. There. A pull-out larder. Yeah, we like these. Um, we have cupboard above. Cupboard above. I think this is a microwave. Yes, 
microwave oven grill yes. all in one situation i think i think so yeah i think so uh, there's also a fan in it as well yeah i think this is a micro it's, it's an everything appliance yeah. we also have a fan assisted oven um, oh, I could pull out. Pull out, and it's got a drawer in it as well. Yeah, perfect for your baking trays. Open it again. Ooh. There's a drawer in it. Oh, oh. there we go. Ah, look at that. Handy. And it must be... No, it's not the fridge freezer. Where's the fridge? Oh. <laughs> we haven't been the other side of the kitchen yet. No. I was thinking that'll be the fridge freezer. No. A big, larger cupboard. So there's lots of storage. Huge. I mean, you could probably get all, all your food in there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, without using any of the other cupboards. It's a nice... Ah, here we go. Why did I not see this? Ta-da. Ah, double fridge. Yeah, so... This double one, Siemens fridge, double Siemens freezer. Yeah, but it opens, so you've got the two two separate fridges on top and the two freezers below. Sometimes they have half and half, don't they? Like yeah. half uh, fridge, half freezer. This is kind of separate. And they've got lots of drawers and there's a lot of space. There's much space. Yeah, and to be honest, it's quite nice because if you didn't want one of them on... You could just turn one off and save a bit of money. Yeah, so I quite like the flexibility of that. Actually. So that's quite quite nice. Yeah. Um, I think that's everything in the kitchen, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, we've missed. The utility. The utility. Of course. Wash, dry, fold. Yeah, so this is our favourite layout for a utility where you've got... The appliance is either side of a sink and cupboard. Yeah. Because we find this to be a really flexible layout. Um, the stainless steel sink with, again, the quality quartz. And it must be the... The boiler. Ideal. Yeah, there's a fan. And there is side door access onto one of your terraces. Ah, <laughs> very handy. Yeah, and like I said, all, all the plots gardens vary. So do check the plan. Okay, you've got the dining area. Lovely. Yeah, so there's space here for eight? I would say eight, yeah. So there's like, you could have three there, three here, and you could have two on the end. Very easily. Yeah. Again, plenty of down lights. We don't need them on today because it's a very bright day. Space for a console. Oh, answer to the floor question. Oh? The flooring is Sensations Ammonite. Oh. There we go. So that was worth checking, wasn't it? The extras, there's flooring upgrades, light switches and sockets, down lights, toilet roll holders, alarm, and the thermostat. So there yeah. Again, check the My Bedro app. So the bifold doors, again, on a day like this, you can fling them open and just enjoy extended living onto your terrace. Lovely. There we go. So double doors. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, so now we're into the actual living room. Yeah. And I love this window. Yeah, it's a lovely... It's not a bay window, but it's it's big. Uh, would you call it a picture window? Possibly. It, it is almost like a picture, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. And I like the fact that the windowsill height is kind of the same height as the back of the sofa. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they've, they've chosen the sofa to go in this room. But I think that works really well. And there's a lot of furniture space. So there's like a three-seater sofa... Three seater sofa. You could get a two seater over there. Very as well. easily. Quite easily. Um, ooh, what do you think of these? Ooh, ball lights. Yeah. Funky. Okay. Well, they are funky. I like them. Um, so the curtains are hung from the ceiling, which again gives that very nice hotel chic vibe. I just come here and look <laughs> the other way, just so you can get a sense of. Oh wow. This. Yeah, no, I think this is really handy because you can close them off, obviously. So, um, in some houses, you've got the kitchen, dining, living all in one space and you can't partition it. No. Whereas in here, as you've just seen, you can have it all open, it's very open plan and it flows. Or if you want to be a bit more cosy and snug, especially in the winter, you can close it off. Or even... If you've got somebody working from home and they want to work in the kitchen or work in here, you can close it off. Yeah. Uh, I think that's something that's coming up a lot with people working from home, is being able to partition and section off different areas of the house so you've got more privacy. So I quite like this. And again, at Christmas or parties, you can just fling them open and you've got a really flexible space. So 
I think we appreciate that. We do. There is an optional upgrade of a fireplace. Ooh. And this is quite a magnificent specimen. Yes, I love it. Feels very nice. Feels very natural stone. Beautiful mirror. So I love the mirror. In fact, I bought, I've ordered one very similar for us. Um, all the wallpaper is kind of textured. Hmm. Probably won't pick it up on camera, but it feels very, very nice. And this is a humongous coffee table poof set. Um, it just goes to show how wide this room is because this is huge. And you've got the sofas and you can walk all the way around. What do you think of this room? It's lovely. I love how you can just partition it. Yeah. As well, make it a proper cosy little room. Yeah, absolutely. Makes you want to have a nap. Yeah. Um, I like the, this tip as well of hanging the curtains from the ceiling the whole width of the wall um, and then you've got the window in the middle. Yeah, it's proper framed, isn't it? Yeah. So there's radiator um, behind here. I think there was a radiator over here as well, wasn't there? Just yes. Um, yes, so there's two radiators. I imagine all the TV media points will be behind here. Yes, they're all behind here. And there are plenty of sockets dotted around. So, and by the way, you don't have to have a fireplace. You could put your TV more in the middle. Yeah, you could put it on the wall. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, and there's a door. There is a door. So I think this must lead. Oh, it goes back to the front door. Yeah, this is a really nice flow. Yeah. Yeah, I think this house could definitely work in party situations. Definitely. Or if you've got cats that like to run around. <laughs> they could just do a whole circuit. They could just do a lap. Or you can imagine kids on little bikes going... <laughs> all the way around. <laughs> Okay, shall we go upstairs? Let's have a look. So you've got, so it's almost, it appears to be more of a turn staircase, but it's not, it's kind of just on the yeah. angle slightly, which we quite like. Okay. So, shall we go straight into the room ahead? Yes, straight in. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Um, so, this is obviously done out as a young, younger person's room. Yes. I think we can say. Uh, it's very bright and colourful. It is. You can get a double in here by the looks of things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, you, again, this room you can choose. It could be a walk-in wardrobe, office, whatever you want it to be. It Man cave. It be a bedroom. Man cave, yes, exactly. Um, I like the very chunky headboard. Yeah, it runs it across the whole room. Yeah. No, it's, it's lovely. Mm. And there is space here for a wardrobe if you wanted to have one. Again, they will all be upgrade. And um, a very nice view of the development down there. Well, not the development, of the entrance to the development. Oh, yes, there we go. Yeah, which is quite nice. I love the nice big blind. Big Roman nice blind. Colours. Okay. Okay, right. Move on. move on to the next room, which I think is... Yes, it's another similar size bedroom, this time yeah. done out for a younger lady. Yes. Oh, wow. That looks like Anna Delvey. Ah! <laughs> She's it's, so bastard. It's Maureen in her younger years. Oh, was well, she Anna Delvey? She may have scammed a few people. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> so, I like this room. Oh, wow. Shoes. Just one shoe. They're leopard. Oh, there is two. There is two shoes, yes. <laughs> but leopard print. Absolutely. Um, it's so, our favourite colour. So, again, this is another double bed bedroom. Um... Again, I love the wallpaper, look at this. Yeah. Wow. What do you think of this room? It is nice. I like the pillow that says chill. <laughs> I do apologise, I've seen a little bit lacklustre today. It's The house is lovely, I am just suffering with hay, hay fever. Hay fever, yeah, no. I've on so many antihistamines. The last few days have been really hot, and Matt is feeling the effects of hay fever. Ooh, yes. I've got it a little bit, um, but it is. it has been quite bad. So people are suffering with hay fever. We are. Okay. So through through your hay fever, can you say that really quick? Uh, I said a hip hop, the hippie, the hippie to the hip hip hop, and you don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie, the beat. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried. You tried absolutely. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> Are all hay fever? Yeah, I think Celine is more my speed. <laughs> Dion, <laughs> of the Dion variety. No, this room is lovely. So, two very similar sized rooms. Yeah. Um, so, there's no arguing if you've got kids over the size of rooms. Look at the staircase from down here. Ooh, you can get a lovely look down. Yeah. And if that door is open, you get a lovely view of the downstairs loo. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, we have a thermostat. Thermostat? Porcelain O is a thermostat. I've never heard of one of oh, those before. Oh, it's 
hang on, get it into focus. Floor, I think it's for underfloor heating in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's an upgrade. But we do have a little cupboard here. I like these because they're shallow. Yeah, so you can put some shelves in. It could yeah. be a little bit like an airing cupboard. Very handy. We love yeah. a shallow cupboard, actually. We do. Oh, this is nice and bright. It is. Yeah, I think of the um, dark colour. It kind of grounds the room a little bit. Yeah, because everything is so bright. The um, kind of marble tile yeah. is so bright. This really works, doesn't it? So come on in and I'll shut this door. I like the fact that the floor tiles match the wall tiles. Yes, it ties everything, everything in. And they are quite big, substantial tiles, so there's not a lot of grout or no. minimum grout, so it should be easy to clean. The bath is a standard size bath. You've got a shower head above, a mixer shower. There's a ventilation above, but also a big window with pretty yeah. glass. Toilet, and you've got your sotini sink. With those fun drawers. Yeah, absolutely. And... Ah! A light up mirror. Well, it's also a cabinet. Oh, right that's here. handy. So this will be an upgrade as well. There's a shaver socket, and a towel rail that's heated. Perfect. So, yeah. Uh, there is probably space for laundry baskets as well on either corner. Yeah. Either side of the toilet, so plenty of space for a family back room. Okay, the radiator on the hall and a loft hatch. Oh yeah, loft hatch well, behind the glam light. Okay, I think, oh, this is an ensuite bedroom. Oh, okay. Um, so we'll reserve judgment on if it's the main bedroom, but this is a really good size double bedroom. Oh right? yeah, massive. You could get a king, king oh, size bed. Super king, here. very easily. Yeah, I love the, the mirrored doors. Yeah, they're slightly tinted, aren't they? Yeah. So, were we right? Are they by Hammonds? Possibly. There's no label yet. No, um, you've got your clothes rail that runs all the way down, are completely yeah. uninterrupted as well. And shelf above. There's plenty of space. Hammonds? Yes. No, a Abano. Oh, a Abano. Um, so there we go. So the um, downstairs study is Hammond's. The wardrobes are a Baino or a Barno. Plenty of space in these. Um, yeah, lovely. You could have a TV over here. Very easily. Again, you've got the thermostat for the floor. Okay, so the ensuite. Ensuite, what do we have? We have a standard, standard shower with, let's test the glide. Ooh, that's Ooh, a good yes, glide. Nice glide. And I like, again, of course, the nose of tiles. Yeah. Um, these are shown as ceiling height. You've got the under sink drawers, satini sanitary wear, plenty of space, shave the socket. Everything you need. Yeah, you could have, an, an, again, another cabinet there or shelves for storage. So Perfect. Okay, and then the final bedroom. Well, there's a cupboard. Oh, is there a cupboard? It's probably the water tank thing, isn't it? Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. So <laughs> an, an impressive piece of engineering if yes. you're into that kind of thing. No. We'll just quickly shut the door <laughs> and move on. <laughs> oh wow, this is the main bedroom. <laughs> oh wow, okay, yeah, this is the main bedroom. Yeah, wow. Huge. Look at the headboard. That's massive. Very 1920s Art Deco. This bed, I mean, you can definitely get a Super King bed in here. Yeah. Um, it's, in fact, I think this is a Super King bed. And just look at the space. There's loads of space. Oodles. So you've got the big bay window because that's the kind of study bonus room below. So again, you've got the echoed um, massive bay window. I'm oh, yeah. Change it to massive with radio <laughs> below. Um, got the a black curtain pole with curtains. We do. And the massive chandelier. Yeah, it's lovely. Does it tinkle? Ooh, the bed's so big I can't reach. Oh, it does have a, a bit of a, a tinkle. A, little, a mini tinkle. So the wardrobes, again, you can choose your doors, but these are big, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of clothes space oh, yeah. in these. Let us know in the comments, would you fill them? What would you fill them with? Let us know. <laughs> Feathered frocks. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, and a space for a glam station. Yeah, or a, feature. well, it's not quite, but a, a clam station. Yeah, you can buy this dressing table, it's an extra. Oh, wow. So the bedroom furniture you can buy as an upgrade. Except the bed. Except the bed. Oh, look at this. It's like a feature going up into the... Oh, like a, like a yeah. big cornice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, red row homes are kind of modelled on the kind of arts and craft um, movement. So they are very traditional, the heritage range. So they kind of fit in very nicely with the surroundings. Um, 
and don't really stand stand no. out as being um, odd architecturally. They kind of blend in and and but still look stunning individual themselves. Look at this. Oh wow! Well, there's the rainfall. There it is. <laughs> so there's a low profile shower tray, a very sturdy shower screen. This is not yeah. moving anywhere, and a very tall rainfall. Oh, that's nice. I have a lot of drop. <laughs> And you've got the towel rail here, it's very handy when you get out of the shower. Yep. And you've got your um, controls to turn it on there. I don't think what they were called then. <laughs> Means to turn the shower on. Right, you've got a, a cabinet again, I think. Or is this a mirror? No, just a That's mirror. A mirror. But again, you could choose to have a cabinet. Yeah. It's got lights on it, satini again, with the pull-out drawers, the toilet, plenty of space for laundry basket, and again, a huge window. Massive window. That is huge. But I'm glad it's got privacy glass. Oh, yes. Ooh, you'd be getting an eye for Maureen every day, wouldn't you? Wow, so um, this is the end of the tour for this house. So we need to choose our favourite room to do our intro. Where's it going to be? Okay, so we are sat at the dining table. We chose the... It's like the kitchen, dining room, living bit with the, with yeah. the door you can see here. Yeah, so you can just think. turn it around, you can see. We've got the doorway there. Um, so we chose this space because it's so... Multi-use. It's versatile. It's versatile. I like the fact you've got the double doors. You can close off the space, have it open, and it's a really good party, yeah. family space. So that's why we chose here. But we could have also chose the amazing uh, main bedroom. Oh, yeah, that was huge. And the the, the ensuite was ginormous. Yeah, or even the terraced garden. Yeah. The heated yeah. gardens. One of the bonus features of Sycamore Manor is the outdoor space. Oh, because yes. Like I said, they've built the development around these really old tr established trees, which means that the gardens are very interesting shapes. They're all individual. Many of them have got layered terraces, as you've kind of seen. Um, so it's really worth checking out the individual plots to see which one might work for you. So if this video has piqued your interest, all of the links to this development and other Red Row um, and the main Red Row website are in our description box below, so do go and check them out. If you make an appointment to come view, obviously mention that you've seen our video. If you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Hit that bell and subscribe button so you get notified for all future videos. And from us here at Sycamore Manor, to you all and goodbye. goodbye.